go. Hello, everybody. My name is Scott Heiferman, and uh, I'm here to tell you my Meetup story. Um, I had the idea to start Meetup, the, the website and the service, uh, soon after 9-11. Um, I was living here in New York City. In fact, I was living right in that building right over there. And when, uh, when, uh, when 9 11 happened, which was right over there, uh, uh, the New York City had a, a pretty unique um, sense of feeling of community going on. You know, people were looking after each other. The city felt like a city of neighbors, not just a, a city of strangers for a little while. And, uh, you know, as a person who never really gave much thought to that, uh, I uh, became really intrigued by it. It was really, it was really something. And, and that led me to read a book called Bowling Alone. Um, that book is right here. It's by Robert Putnam. And he writes about the decline of community in America, and about how um, decades ago, people were a member of local groups. And those local groups had meetings. And when they had the meetings, people uh, came together and, um, and uh, it really helped them out. And it helped society in all kinds of ways. And, and that, uh, that whole phenomenon of people uh, being a part of local groups and going to meetings uh, has gone way down in the decades since. And uh, Putnam, you know, challenges us all to say, how can we take the, the good parts of that and bring it to the 21st century? So I, I took that challenge. I found a bunch of guys, uh, and we locked ourselves in a room for a few months and built a uh, meetup. And we, we launched it, and uh, good news is people, people liked it and used it, and now millions of people, uh, you know, have used meetup for, uh, to create these local meetups, these local groups that have meetings. Um, my most memorable uh, meetup experiences have always have been about meeting all of these meetup organizers out there. Uh, most, most interestingly, about how they say that they that they're the last ones that would ever uh, would start a meetup, and they didn't know what they were doing, and they struggled and they struggled and they struggled, and uh, but they've created something amazing for them uh, with their members, and uh, that that their meetups are going to last a long time. Their meetups will probably last longer than them. Um, and those meetups uh, are a real resource for people, and they help people out in all kinds of ways. Uh, so that's that's just the that's the best thing to hear. And uh, so overall, you know, I'm 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 really glad that uh, that I uh, had the idea for Meetup, um, and you know, I'm really excited about this this future of um, of a Meetup everywhere about most everything. That's our goal. You know, where we we succeed if 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 the Meetups succeed, and. Um, you know, we love hearing the stories out there. We we want uh, we, we we think that if there was a meetup everywhere about most everything, that would bring uh, it would there means people will have access to a community that welcomes them and and um, and provides all kind of benefits for them. And the people come together, uh, and that's a good thing. So we look forward to hearing your stories. Bring them on. Uh, tell your stories as uh, as poorly as I have right here, and uh, we want to see your videos. So I uh, look forward to forward to seeing you guys and maybe meeting you somewhere. Thanks.